t-shirt on because it was getting a little warm and then I was getting a little cold so I shut the window a little bit and I hate trying to modulate temperature in this apartment. So much. Thank you, Lander. I see something. Okay. So we've just we've dealt with the monsters and the bandits. Now we just have to wait for Patax to to act. It's precisely why ninety percent of your wardrobe is long sleeve shirts. Oh, Lander. So this building is really bad. Um, uh, I've just got baseboard heating, like baseboard radiator heating, uh, and it gets so fucking hot in the winter that it's sometimes hotter in here than it is in the summer. Like even when it's minus 20 outside, I have to have the windows open or else it gets like ridiculously hot in here. It's been like, what, minus? Here, hang on, maybe, maybe you guys can hear. Hey Google, what's the temperature right now? In Hamilton, it's currently four degrees. So it's only four degrees right now and I've got the windows wide open. So, Four degrees outside, and it's like, my windows are wide open, and it's still like 15 to 20 inside, so. It's, it's really bad. It's because there's no temperature control so it's either on or off and by law they have to keep it at least 21 degrees celsius but because i don't have the option to turn down that temperature or to say it's too hot bypass my apartment for the heat it's just it's it's honestly just always on in the winter it's really bad like it can get really bad Okay, so I think we're now at the point where we just have to wait, right? So I think I'm gonna go back. I'll go up to my city just because. Celsius, yes. I am in Canada. So that is Celsius. Bunch more should be done soon. No, I have, um, I usually dress in layers, so I'll do, like, a, like, a t-shirt with a hoodie over top or something. Yes! Wait, I don't have teleportation at my main city? What? Okay, no, that's Testdale. Okay. I was like, wait, what? 
Yeah, no, it just gets ridiculously hot. Like, you will see me sometimes wearing, like, tank tops in the middle of winter. And it's because it's, like, 25 degrees in my apartment. And disgusting. There's unfortunately no getting around it. The only thing is to leave the windows open. Um, presents. More presents. Okay, I'm gonna pass one day. Cause then we get a bunch of people back. Twenty five is where you put the AC in the summer. I don't mind it a little warm in the summer, but the problem with doing that in the winter is that you don't acclimate to the colder weather. Okay, so there's four, eight. I'm gonna do this. Now I can do this. Your mom bugs you about taking your coat off when you come home from things. <laughs> when you forget, you assume that's why. Cool. Yes, we got rid of Le uh, Lebeda's shit. I need to up my espionage. Because it's really bad right now. Okay, I want to see what the problems are.
Ta-da! I'll start one of those as well then. See, like now I'm almost cold. When I was wearing my hoodie, I was hot. There are more and more workers in the kingdom, and our farmers require plots of fruitful soil. The ordinary people regard you as their defender against the in iniquity of the merchants, and they have come to you with a request. Your subjects wish to clear and plow some nearby oak groves, where wealthy men, both local and brevin, have hunted in sport for many years. The merchants won't like it, but I'm sure you can see that food for the children and the elderly is far more important than sports for the idle. Wouldn't you agree? Okay. I bring news, Jathel reports abruptly. Not unexpected. A sizable group of elves from Kionin has crossed the border into your kingdom. They send a message to you. You may read it if you wish, but I can state the substance in a few words. We demand you turn over the murderer. We await your response. Jaythel stares at you closely as if trying to assess something. Is she studying you or considering the larger situation? I suppose we should meet with them. Back then, near the Thorn River. After the battle with the elven youngsters, I felt Urgothoa's presence again. For the first time since I was reborn. Now I feel something similar. A command, or the shadow of one. Besides, I don't like to leave my affairs unfinished. Let us put an end to this. I'm gonna light a candle. That'll help with the heat, right? Mostly it'll just smell good, which I'm okay with. And also fire. Come on, you. All right, we'll meet with them. Okay. All right, so now we gotta talk to the- Oh wait, I'm gonna go sell shit first. I am gonna go sell shit first. That's what we're gonna do, because my inventory be full. So, so far, um, if anybody hasn't voted for the second story game that we're going to do in tandem, head on over to the Discord uh, and check out the poll section. So far, it looks like Guardians of the Galaxy PS5 is winning. We will eventually get to Immortals Phoenix Rising as well. I mean, we're gonna do everything. It's just a matter of when. All right. These are all just daggers plus one, right? Yes, they are. Good God. Okay. I'd say those are probably going to be heavy as fuck. Mm. 
I don't need the ring of protection plus ones. I don't even need the plus two. I don't use fist weapons. I don't need the plus two if I've got Okay, let's see what weapons we got that we can ditch. I don't think anybody can even use this. Put some of these away is what I'll do. And then we'll also ask the storyteller if he wants anything else for trade, like for stuff. go and we'll put some stuff away up here and then we'll go start the quest Nobody really uses one-handed, so... sell that next time I need to. Or I mean, just get rid of it. Alright, let's go.
Okay. Our sister, our mistress, our queen. Hail to our queen. Stop calling me that. In the darkest hours and the brightest days, you simply called me sister. I need no other title. Your songs and laughter accompanied me in my happiest moments. I would rather not shift them to honorifics. The time of my triumph is nigh, sisters. I want to share it with you as I have always shared my secrets, my sorrows, and my joys. Even after I become an eldest, I shall not abandon you. My realm will be the kingdom of spring, love, and life, and you will all be most welcome there. Be happy, sister. Be victorious, sister. Wow, we're inside her dream. Maybe we should try talking to her. She may not quite be the real Nyrissa, but that's kind of the point. In her dreams, she can let out the things she would never say in the real world. Be careful, Nyrissa. You have always been the bravest of us. And none deserve to be an eldest more than you. But these ambitions may come with a steep price. Perhaps I have always been the bravest, Devendra, but you have always been the grumpiest. <laughs> we are blessed with eternal life, but we keep living out each day, abiding by rules we have no hand in creating. My plan is daring, you say. Well then, so be it. You meant to check this earlier. Ah! Yes. Mux put in a command for TB Nightbot so that you guys can convert Celsius to uh, Fahrenheit. And I think it works by... I think... Does it work vice versa? It does work vice versa. So there you go, guys. <laughs> if you ever want to know what temperatures I'm talking about, <laughs> you can check the uh, the chat there. I simply pray we do not end up paying a price we cannot bear. What have you done to your sisters? What I did to them is paltry compared with what was done to me. But you cannot understand. No one can. Just go away. Let's hey, shred them! Oh, they're the defaced sisters? You should be careful. Dreams are already full of monsters. I dread to think of what we might find in Nurse's head. That was... That was really awkward. me scum i will not bow my head i cannot lose what i was sent by the eldest i come not to kill you a trial awaits you trespasser i shall simply make sure you get there without getting lost along the way huh I cannot 
Me, scum, I will not bow my head. Get ready. Get scared. For your familiar animal of the chaos. Listen to me, trespasser. You sought a kingdom. I seek something simpler. Hachi. As you sought to steal a kingdom for yourself, so must you do again, a thousand times over. For a theft, a true theft, must be practiced to be earned. It will be a lengthy task. This is how it shall be measured. dust, the grains shall gather in this vessel. When a thousand grains are gathered, bring it before us as an offering, so that an eldest may sit from it. I'm just glad this is actually voice acted. And why don't zombies eat clowns? Because they taste funny. <laughs> when that is done, your trespass shall be forgiven. Where will I find so many nations? It is... An impossible task! How? Oh, let your unrequited love guide you. Guided you to your first kingdom. So it shall again. This guy sounds familiar. The voice for this thing sounds familiar. Seek it. Hunt for it. Lust for it. Let the emptiness inside you become your deadliest weapon. It is not an impossible task. After all, what use is an apology that cannot ever be given? Give it. Any idea, Mutz? Curse. 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 Get ready. Get scared. Learn. Listen to me, trespasser. You sought a kingdom. I seek something simpler. Hachi. Guilty. Cursed. Here we go. Cursed. Doesn't help that it sounds Cursed. like someone from I mean, it could be. Did I truly deserve all this? You were ordered to destroy kingdoms, bringing unbearable suffering and pain to so many people. No matter what you have done, those who came up with this punishment are clearly no better. So many wish to judge me. Raid Chase. Comprehend the burden what else is he doing? You assume far too much. Burn! I'm looking it up. Oh, he's Hauser from Seven Deadly Sins? That might be where from where I remember him from. That's what I was saying. I, I just looked it up. He's he, he's Hauser from Seven Deadly Sins as well. So he was in 23 episodes of Seven Deadly Sins. And Mox, he was in- oh no, he's in World of Warcraft Shadowlands. We haven't played that. But it's funny that you said he reminds you of World of Warcraft. <laughs> uh, anything else I would know him from? 
Apparently he was in something called Rainbow Butterfly Unicorn Kitty. Which I'm going to assume is a cartoon. He was a couple of voices in Death Stranding. Hauser is probably, like, Seven Deadly Sins is probably where I'm really remembering him from, though. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at right now. Seven Deadly Sins is probably what I largely remember him from. I like that series. Oh, he was in BFA as well, Mux. Oh, he was in, um, he was in the Sword Art Online, uh, sequel as well, apparently. Uh, Gun Gale? Like the second one? The second season or whatever? I've watched that. That's been a while, though. Apparently he was in some fairy tale stuff, which I also have seen. He was in Mass Effect Andromeda. He was one of the voices in Mass Effect Andromeda, so that was another one. Dude, this 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 dude be in everything. Yeah, he was in Sword Art Online as well. So yeah, he's been in a bunch of stuff that I've seen. So that's probably why. But no, yeah, I think you're right. Um, Hauser from uh, Seven Deadly Sins is probably where I'm really remembering his voice from. Anyways, you can play again. She said burn, right? My lady, there's nothing we can do. The powers of those who've hidden the briar exceed our own in many ways. Why search for that which has ruined me? He said. He said. She have a monkey? She has a monkey. Love guide me. No. I will not search any longer. But I must find it. Come now, start searching. It must be here in the stolen lands. Oh, I told them to stop searching. Oh, I told them to search. Right. For what? It is pointless. Why do I need this? Do you see now? Do you see? They ripped my heart out and threw it into your world. And something else was torn out with it. What exactly were you Something looking for? That was stolen from me. Do you believe the aim of my curse was the destruction of your pathetic kingdoms? No, that was merely a path towards redemption. The curse, it deprived me of a part of my soul. The most important part. Ripped from me, crippled, mutilated, and turned into an artifact. The Briar. No, no, something deeper. The 
writer, I suppose. I only know the sound of this word, but not its meaning. A burning word. A stupid word. Love. Whatever the others did to you, we're each responsible for our own crimes. Do you enjoy watching my agony? Allow me to see yours in return. Young deer have barely grown their antlers. They face their fathers in fierce combat. Have you ever seen it? The time has come. You are a stag now, not some defenseless fawn. Go. Go and fight. You were born for glory, my wolf cub. There is room in this world for all sorts of different birds. Some sing sweetly while others screech proudly. But the peacock displays bright... Are uh, you gonna go get some food? Am I gonna still be live in an hour? Yeah, probably. I plan to go all day. I might have switched to Genshin, though. I'm thinking of switching to Genshin after the dream. Whose glory shall overshadow all within the River Kingdoms. If you lose, my heart stops along with yours. My Skylark... No worries, Jill. today. What happened? Once young deer have barely grown their antlers. So easily trapped. Stags and wolves, skylarks and peacocks. I'll turn against them. I was you. there with you from the very first steps you made into the stolen lands. I've created a nice cage of magical fog around you. Sent you my skylark. Helped you kill my stag, guided you through dreams and visions, and I pitted my wolf and my peacock against you. Does it not please you, my hound? I gave you so much prey to chase. But what I have done matters little when compared to why I have done it. I have already lost track of so much time. For so many centuries, I sought out those like you. The ambitious and oh, so she creates rulers just so she can, can topple their kingdoms, the world, or at least rule it. I seek them, grant them power, lead them to triumph, and then push them into the abyss. I shall end this suffering. Any last wishes? This is annoying. And then our leader charged forwards. Uh, hey, wait for me. so bad if it didn't take so long to go back and forth in and out of combat. This is where I step it. One, One more grain. grain. And then another, another grain. grain. This one took a hundred years to obtain. And that one was just a week. The first bears the blood of three generations burned in war. The second, just two well-chosen words. And one little betrayal. 
that this will never end. Never! Do you see this cup? It has a name, you know? The Apology. Within it is the Stag Lord and his crazy dream to become a king and take me as his queen. And Armag and his never-born barbarian empire. Who will fall in next? Tax and its peacock king? Or you? I know your story. Unfortunately, I don't know uh, how to help you overcome the curse. What is this, a dream? Or is someone actually playing games with me? Speaking words that pierce like arrows, teasing me with the hope of salvation beyond my reach. So, this is a dream. But you have entered it from reality. Exquisite. Very reminiscent of the methods I typically use. For a thousand years, none have come so close to me. And I assure you, none ever will again. But you... I like you more and more, my hound. Perhaps I have no need of that stupid peacock anymore. I could let you tear him apart if you wish. I know where a tool lies that will let you clip his wings. The evidence of his crimes. Something he's been hiding from his Pataxian allies. He could not hide it from me. Remember this name, White Rose Abbey. That is where Iravetti would usually meet with me in the past, and the place okay. where you will find your tool against him. Sure. My brave, brave hound. I mean, I'm expecting an ambush, Get but. Along nicely, I dare say. We actually progressed the story a little bit. Alright guys, I think I'm going to switch over to uh, Genshin and we're going to get like a really, really nice, good several hours of Genshin in this afternoon. It's been a while since I've played a uh, good long session. So hold tight, guys. I'm going to be back in a few minutes, and we will have switched over to Genshin by then. So see you soon, everybody.